Okay, in this video we're going to look at solving examples of problems with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So remember that the position momentum version of the uncertainty principle says that the uncertainty in the position times the uncertainty in the momentum is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi, where h is Planck's constant. Okay, so first one, 50 gram ball moves 30 meters per second. If speed is measured to an accuracy of 0.1%, what's the minimum certainty? So we're solving for delta P, right? So first thing I'm going to do, this is in grams, right? I'm going to turn this to kilograms. So that's 0 0.05 kilograms, right? One, two, three places back. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to solve for the uncertainty in the position, right? Let me just go ahead and rearrange this. So delta x, I'm going to divide over the, no, I'm going to, yeah, divide over the delta p, uncertainty in position. And I'm going to just turn this into an equal sign, right? Because it's greater than or equal to, so I'm going to find the minimum, right? So because I'm finding the minimum, I'm just going to use the equal part of that uh, inequality. So that's going to equal h over 4 pi times the momentum uncertainty. Okay, so now let's go find what we need. So, I know H is Planck's constant, so I need the uncertainty and the momentum. I've got the mass, right? Because remember, mass times velocity is momentum. And I know that I measured the speed to 0.1%. So that means the uncertainty and the speed, whatever 0.1% of 30 meters per second is, that's going to be how well I know my velocity, right? So this uncertainty in momentum is going to be equal to the mass times the uncertainty in the velocity, right? Because the mass doesn't really have any uncertainty. So 50, so 0.05 is my mass. And my uncertainty in velocity is 0.1% of 30. So 0.1% of 30 is 0 0.001, right? For a percent, move it back two places, times 30. So... 0.001 times 30 times 0.05 gives me a momentum uncertainty of 0.0015. So that's going to be my delta P. So now I can say delta X is H over 4 pi times delta P. So H is, because I'm in base units, I'm going to use the 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, that version of Planck's constant, right, over 4 pi times 0 0.0015. And if I do this, so I'm going to take that and multiply by 4, and then multiply by pi, right, that's my denominator, and then I'm going to do 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 divided by that number. And I'm going to get a little teeny tiny number. 3.5 times 10 to the minus 32nd. Minus 32nd. Meters. That's really freaking small. So, to give you an idea, right, like if you have an atom, the width of an atom is on the order of about like 10 to the minus 12th meters. This is 10 to the minus 32, right? This is really tiny. And again, when you're talking about wavelengths for big macro scale things, these don't mean anything, right? There's no uncertainty in a 50 gram ball. Okay, so this example, now we're talking about uh, an electron in the ground state of a hydrogen atom. So this case, we're going to get a number that has some meaning to it, right? So in the ground state of hydrogen, uncertainty in the position of the electron is roughly 0.1 nanometers. So delta x, delta p, greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. I want to find how fast is the electron moving and the speed is on the order of the uncertainty of the speed. So what that means, if the speed is on the order of the uncertainty of the speed, that means if my uncertainty is about 10 to the 6th meters per second, that means my speed is about the same as the uncertainty, right? That's all that's saying. So uh, we want to solve for speed. Speed has to do with momentum, right? So delta P is greater than or equal to H over 4 pi times delta x, right? And so delta p is mass times delta v, the uncertainty in the velocity measurement, because the mass of an electron is always the mass of an electron, right? 
So this is h over 4 pi delta x. So now I'm going to divide over the m, and I can get my uncertainty in velocity. So that's h over 4 pi delta x times m. That'll give me my uncertainty in velocity. So let's go find all this and plug in, right? So Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th, right? 4 pi, those are both constants, right? My delta x, the uncertainty in the position of the electron is 0.1 nanometers. So that's 0.1 times 10 to the minus 9th, right? Nano minus 9. And then the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31, right? I just always remember 9.11, right? Maybe that's good or bad. I don't know. So let's solve. That gives me a delta V of, let me just count my decimal places, doing scientific notation, so 5... 0.79 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. So this is my uncertainty. That's 500,000 meters per second, which we're talking about electrons. I suppose it's not that great a number, but it's saying our speed is on the relationship of, I'm sorry, it's on the order of magnitude of the uncertainty. So this is going to be my answer, right? And so in this case, I don't know a lot about the speed of the electron, but I knew it down to a nanometer, right? So that's the trade-off there. I have a bigger uncertainty in velocity for knowing where my electron is down to the nanometer level. Okay, next problem. An electron is located on a pinpoint having a diameter of 2.5 micrometers. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the last problem. Here's like a pinpoint, and the pinpoint is going to be your delta x. And it's saying, how fast can I know the speed of the electron? This is 2.5 micrometers, right? So this is a wider uncertainty than the example we did before, which was in nanometers, right? So in this case, I should have less uncertainty in my electron speed. So I'm just going to zoom through since it's basically the same solution as the last one. So I did the same algebra as I did before, right? So delta P, I split into mass times the uncertainty in my velocity, right? Because the mass doesn't really have any uncertainty because it's an electron. An electron always has that same mass. So I can divide over the delta X and the M, and then I plug in and solve. So Planck's constant, 4 pi, mass of an electron, and then my delta X, which is my uncertainty in position, which was the width of that pinhead. And my uncertainty in velocity is now a little bit smaller. It's 23,000 meters per second which is smaller than 500,000 what I got before, right? So I have a bigger uncertainty in where my position, the, the electron is located. So that means I know more about the velocity of the electron.